Hello, I'm Madeline Bennett, editor of B3, and today I'm joined by Andrew Hawkins, Business Development Director at EduServe, a not-for-profit IT services business. And we're here to discuss cloud computing, particularly for the public sector. Hi, Andrew. Hello, Madeline. Thanks very much for joining us today. So um, I don't think anybody who works in IT or just generally um, in a company can have avoided uh, cloud computing at the moment. It's such a massive issue. Um, and uh, I know EduSurf focuses mainly on the, the public sector and local government and education sectors. And um, do these organisations have different needs for cloud compared to the private sector, would you say? Well, I just say EduSurf is a not-for-profit business focused on the markets you've indicated, public sector, and third sector. I think our view is that in general cloud services are applicable to all organisations. I think there's advantages that can be taken from them. I think there are some specific things that come up. A lot of organisations, and it's probably not public sector specific, but a lot of organisations do think that they're special, that they have things about them that make them different, and so how can we take advantage of more utility type ICT services? That's one of the challenges, and I think one of the things we try and work through with our clients is to demonstrate that utility services and cloud services can be used and in doing that you can focus your resources more effectively on what you're trying to achieve as a business. And then the other thing I think particularly comes up in the public sector, but I guess probably touches things like finance as well, but particularly in public sector is security. Um, again, we're sort of familiar very much with dealing with what government called impact levels. Uh, we deal around impact level two and three particularly, but again it's having systems in place that enable an organisation to protect its data and it does touch the charity sector, so the third sector, so a lot of charities that actually deal with government will also potentially have that same issue in terms of how they manage the data. So in general our view would be that I think there are cloud services that practically all organisations in the public sector could take advantage of, but there are those issues particularly around demonstrating that you can do it um, without having to compromise what you think is special about your organisation, but also to take account of those security uh, issues, which again as an organisation we particularly the focus on. Okay.